Hi guys, welcome to the January challenge. Apologies for the delay in um, making this one here. We're now the sort of mid-January. Our intention was to get this going quicker, but we were finishing our campaign, The Food Circus, and we hope you've seen it. If you haven't, check it out, circuitfactory.ae forward slash food circus. Um, it's not just a few cheapy gimmicks, a uh, few cheap, cheap videos to get some attention. It is spreading a very important message about the environment of food in Dubai. That is that we have stepped well away from our natural side of food and way towards chemical processing. And uh, we have no one's really kicked up a stink about it. So the, the point is that we now all think it's perfectly normal to eat food with genetically modified material and artificial processing. And the campaign is designed to say, hang on a sec, guys, what's going on? So please, get behind it, check it out. All right, now, challenge. This is the starting blocks email. This is the first email you're gonna get from us. This is gonna be split, or it's gonna be kind of in two separate parts. The first part is the logistical part. One of the things you need to do in order to make a success of this challenge. The second part is the kind of the motivational, yeah, let's go, you know, a bit of reverse psychology, trying to squeeze the extra few ounces of energy out of you to make a success of this thing. So, logistics. Four classes a week, not more than two in a row, okay? Because that means you get three full days of rest, which you can use to replenish and recover your body. We want to smash you, but we don't want to injure you, okay? Four a week, no more than two in a row. In terms of food, you're going to follow the Holy Grail. You're going to, that's attached to this email. You're going to complete the confessional every day. Everything you eat and drink goes in the confessional. That's attached to this email. And on Saturday, we're going to ask for that. You're going to send it in. We're going to give you feedback. Hopefully, you're going to apply that feedback and your results will improve. Um, depending on how clean you actually get your food. So that's the main crux of it. We measure you before your first class, in the middle after two weeks, and at the end, okay? And if our instructors give you any tips, tricks, advice, anything from nutrition, motivation, form, anything, please apply that, use it, add it into your game and use it to make yourself better, stronger, faster, quicker, leaner, sexier, all the rest of it, okay? That is the logistics. Now, in terms of the other bit I spoke about, these roll calls, they, every day you're going to receive a video and the idea of the roll call is to give you some, kind, some piece of information. It might be about food, it might be about form, it might be about something completely different altogether. But it's something we believe that you need to know in order to unlock exercise. Okay. Now, there's, we always see in the challenge, there's, there's a group of people who come in and they smash the granny out of it, they ignore all the roll calls, they do lose 10 pounds at the end, and they think, hey, I've had a, made a great success, but they didn't really learn anything out of it. Okay. Their results usually are temporary. Okay. So the idea of these roll calls are that we're going to give you a kind of knowledge base, what it is you need to know and apply in order to succeed. So. Um, you know, driving a car is one way, to, is an incredibly quick way to learn how to drive a car. If I told you to drive, uh, learn how to drive a car out of a book, it would take you much, much longer. And the same applies with this, is that if you just take the theory, i.e. these videos, watch them when you're taking a dump in the morning, let's be honest, that's what you're doing, uh, and then you don't apply anything from it, you're gonna get nothing out of it. But if you take the ideas and apply them at the end of the challenge, you'll not only have dropped your weight, but you will also have something that you can take on. It's like riding a bike, you'll never forget it. You'll understand the principles of good health for the rest of your life and that to us is much 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 um, it's a much better outcome than if we just make you lose a few pounds and you put it back on you become one of those yo-yo challenges okay so that's the idea of these roll calls theory and practice please apply I'm gonna end I'm gonna end issuing you with a little challenge now this is obviously the main challenge this is a Parkies challenge tiny one okay I'm sure some of you are aware, what we used to do is give out breakfast exercises. It's a mini smash. Uh, each morning, you know, you might do, I don't know, 50 burpees for time. It's an example of breakfast exercises, and it's like a second workout, okay? And uh, some people did it, some people didn't. Now, we're gonna still do that, this challenge, and every roll call I'm gonna give you a breakfast exercises, but I'm gonna make it optional, okay? It's up to you whether you do it or not. Now, the point, or my mini challenge is this, is that if you choose not to do the breakfast exercises, but you do go to class and you do apply all of the theory in these roll calls. I believe you will get better results at the end than if you go to classes, do the breakfast exercises and ignore everything that we're about to teach you. Does that make sense? I hope so. Have a great challenge and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.